my name is Brian Bostrom. I am one of the QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisors at Squire & Company in Orem, Utah. You can email us at quickbooks at squire.com. That's S-Q-U-I-R-E. So this video is part one of a three video series about reconciling your bank account with QuickBooks and what that means, how to do it, uh, and then some troubleshooting and tips and tricks. So to start, I'd like to discuss the basic concept of reconciling your bank account to QuickBooks. So what does that mean exactly? Well, simply put, reconciling your bank account to QuickBooks means that we want to match every transaction that hits our bank account or credit card, which we can find on our monthly bank or credit card statements, to a transaction inside QuickBooks. We want to make sure that everything that happens in the bank is recorded in our QuickBooks file. So why is that so important? Well, for the most part, all of our income and expense items and other transactions uh, hit our bank account at one point or another, and uh, that's kind of where they originated. So if we are able to ensure that all the transactions that hit the bank are accounted for in QuickBooks, then we can be pretty confident that we have caught uh, and captured all the financial activity and that our financial statements are are pretty correct. So that's the reason for doing it. Uh, let's run through one scenario real quick just to further illustrate why it's so important. Let's say that you wrote a check to a supplier for $50,000. Uh, it cleared the bank, but you forgot to record it in your QuickBooks file. Well, you print off your financial statements and you give it to your tax preparer and he doesn't bother to check to make sure that that everything uh, in your QuickBooks file was reconciled with the bank account and he prepares a tax return based on those financial statements that you printed out that are missing fifty thousand dollars of expense well he's going to prepare your tax return showing that you had fifty thousand dollars more net income than you really did and you're going to end up paying tax on that amount so that was an expensive mistake that could have been discovered had you reconciled your QuickBooks file with your bank account. Had you done so, you would have seen this $50,000 check that went through the bank that didn't get entered into your QuickBooks. You would have caught that and saved yourself a bunch of money. So uh, that's an extreme example, but I think it illustrates the point I'm trying to make, uh, which is that we want to make sure that everything that happens uh, in the bank and with our credit cards is captured in QuickBooks to ensure that I, our financial reports are um, accurate. So there are a couple things that QuickBooks does and a couple things it doesn't. Uh, I want to go through those real quick. So reconciling helps discover transactions that are missing from our QuickBooks file. A good example of that is what we just went through. We may also discover that we've entered something in QuickBooks twice that really only happened once. For example, we uh, charged something on a credit card, $50 to Office Max, uh, and it cleared the credit card once. We've seen it on the statement, but then there's this other transaction for $50 on the same date that we noticed when we're reconciling, uh, also to Office Max. It was never reconciled. We do a little bit of digging and realize that, oh, yep, there weren't really two transactions, there was just one. Uh, therefore, we double counted our office expense by $50 and we need to remove that transaction so that our financial statements are, are correct. And we also may discover that we have miskeyed something or maybe the bank has made an error. For example, they cashed a check for $750 that you really wrote out for $75. Now that doesn't happen often today. But it's possible, and it, it does happen from time to time. Typically, the errors are much smaller than that. So a couple things that reconciling does not do. Reconciling does not ensure that the transaction was put into the correct expense or income account or balance sheet account, whatever account it may be. For example, we may write ourselves a $500 check that is an owner draw but we record it in QuickBooks as a miscellaneous expense and it then affects our net income, which is incorrect. So we may have matched that $500 cash out to our bank statement. We know that we picked it up in QuickBooks, but, but it ne wasn't necessarily in the right account. So we may be perfectly reconciled to our bank account, uh, but still our financial statements could be off.
the other thing that reconciling doesn't do is it does not post transactions or change account balances. To reconcile a group of transactions to the bank simply means that those transactions are flagged as having been matched to the bank, having been reconciled. Uh, I've had clients before think that their transactions don't actually affect the account balances, meaning they don't increase income or they don't add to expense until they are reconciled, and that's not the case. Once a transaction is input into QuickBooks, it's there and it's affecting those account balances and financial statements, whether or not it's ever reconciled. So in the next video, we will actually go into how we do a reconciliation in QuickBooks. It happens inside the reconciliation window here. And so in part two, we will discuss how that's done. And then in part three, we'll discuss some troubleshooting and tips and tricks. I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoy the next.